Hi, my name is Bevy Miner. I'm with Ginger I.O. and I'm head of our strategic partnerships. And I'm Julia Bernstein. I lead our strategy and sales operations at Ginger I.O. Ginger I.O. is a growing mental health platform based here in San Francisco with our roots in Boston. We actually come out of about 10 years of research at MIT's Media Lab, where our co-founder Anmol Madan combined his expertise in data science with our co-founder Karin Singh's expertise in the healthcare industry. With over 30 commercial and research partnerships, we have venture funding from Kaiser Permanente Ventures, Coastal Ventures, and True Ventures. So what problem do we solve in the industry? We, pro we solve three problems. Lack of access, underdiagnosis of patients with uh, depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, or anxiety, and we also solve the problem of undertreated. So while these patients may be diagnosed, they're largely treated in a pharmaceutical way, and they don't get the care that they need, the repeated care. What Ginger I.O. does is we work on a smartphone, so we're always on. The patients always have their smartphone with them, so we provide that ability to have connectivity to your care team no matter what setting you're in. Patients don't have to be at point of care. They have the data, they have the access, they have the ability to feel more empowered to take care of their conditions because it's done in a way that you live your life. The Ginger I.O. application is something that's usually referred to a patient by their doctor. We work with clinicians in a number of settings, including primary care settings, integrated primary care, and specialty behavioral health. Once the patient downloads the application onto their Android or iPhone, which takes about 30 seconds, they open the app once, let it run in the background, and without them having to enter anything or do a thing, we're collecting thousands of microdata points about how they're living their lives. Things like how much they're moving, how much they're communicating, how much they're sleeping, the type of data that's really important to understand how you're functioning day to day. In addition to all of this passive data, we also have the ability to collect self-report data, whether it's a daily check-in question on mood or functioning, or a monthly validated score like a PHQ-9 that helps a clinician better understand how a patient is doing. We take these thousands of microdata points and run them through the analytics engine that we've developed at MIT and have been iterating since, and we use that to figure out the patterns in a patient's behavior that indicate they might be doing well or that they might be in a persistent or worsening state. The third part of our platform, and the most important for making sure that all of this information that we're collecting is actionable, is providing that information on when a patient may be in a changing state back to someone who can act on it, whether it's a care manager who's trying to decide which 30 out of 300 patients to call on a given day, whether it's a clinician who wants to use that information to deepen the therapeutic alliance during a session, or whether it's even back to the patient themselves in the form of health tips and other in-app tools. So the value that we actually create is constant and continuous monitoring. It's not episodic, it's always on. The value we create for the provider or the clinician is they feel more empowered and confident that they can treat their patients. Patients leave an exam and they go through a void. They have no idea what's going on with their patients in between those visits. When you have Ginger IO's data and you're doing point of care, you have more meaningful information to have a conversation with your patient about. The other value that we have is patient engagement. Patients feel much more connected to their care team, so they feel more empowered to be able to manage their condition. And we see that based on the outcomes. We have both clinical outcomes and quality outcomes that we look at, such as PHQ-9 stability or lower PHQ-9 scores. And then we also look at the Ginger I.O. behavior data to show us when a patient is stable or when a patient may have some concerning issues.